Hi, Kate here. Welcome to Wellcast. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, check out our introductory video. Long story short, it's 100 wellness exercises in 100 days. You in? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Today, we're talking about sleep. Anyone who's made it through one year of college knows the importance of a good night's sleep. It's the difference between drooling on your notebook and taking good notes. A good night's sleep is linked to scads of health benefits. A study published by Sleep Journal, and they would know what they're talking about, right? reported that continued sleep deprivation over extended periods of time can lead to high blood pressure, heart attacks, and aneurysms. Sleep deprivation is also expensive. CNN diagnosed lack of sleep as America's top health problem. Sleep deprivation costs up to $150 billion a year and reduced workplace productivity. All right, look, we're not trying to scare you. Instead, we're going to address an aspect of sleep that's often overlooked its effect on creativity. Everyone's heard the stories about artists who've stumbled across inspiration in their sleep. Robert Louis Stevenson reportedly imagined the plot from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in a dream, and Coleridge stumbled to a pen and paper upon waking up to scrawl the first lines of Kubla Khan. But what about after you wake up? Does a good night's sleep make you more creative as you go about your day? Despite what hordes of sleep-deprived art students might tell you, Recent research suggests that the answer is a resounding yes. A 2009 study conducted by the University of California, San Diego, found that participants who slept performed far better on creativity aptitude tests than those who simply rested without sleeping. Creativity can affect everything from how well you do your job to whether or not you stick the punchline on a long-winded joke. Let's go to today's wellness exercise. This one's a twofer. Because in two simple steps, we're going to unleash your creativity by getting you more rest. Are you ready? Step one. For five days this week, you're going to make an effort to go to bed 30 minutes earlier. We know this isn't easy, but we wouldn't make you do it unless we knew that you were going to get great results. Step two. Before going to sleep every night, put your well-cast journal in a pen by your bed. The moment you wake up in the morning, Open your bleary eyes and put pen to paper. Write a short story or a poem. Storyboard a scene from one of your dreams. Maybe attempt some creative problem solving. Write down a problem you've had lately and brainstorm some solutions. The point is getting those creative juices something to do. It's the end of the week, and you got two and a half hours more sleep this week than you normally do. Did grabbing that little bit of extra strat eye make you feel more inclined to create something awesome? Look, we're not saying that you have to be the next Robert Louis Stevenson, but it's possible that you found an amazing source of creativity that you can access nightly. If you did, let us know. Let's recap. We learned today that sleep deprivation is really harmful to your health. In extreme circumstances, it can lead to aneurysms or to heart attacks. But getting enough sleep has an added bonus. It makes you more creative. So this week, you're going to get an extra half hour of sleep a night. When you wake up, you're going to start a creative project in your Wellcast journal. After a week of this, see how much added sleep did for you and your creative process. Tweet us at WatchWellcast, email us at watchwellcast at gmail.com, or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.